Fire Mountain Sea Snake. In a remote part of the Banda Sea in Indonesia, there's a volcano called Gunung API. It can be translated into our language as Fire Mountain. This volcano is still quite active today, and beneath its shores of hardened lava lives a population of highly venomous sea snakes. These snakes live around the erupting volcano and hunt in packs, much like wolves. What may be even more frightening to potential visitors is that these venomous snakes show no fear of divers. There are over 17,000 islands in Indonesia, and tucked between a few of them, Gunung API sits 120 miles from the nearest landmass. The only way to get there is by boat across the Banda Sea. The volcano extends to the surface of the ocean, but most of its body is underwater. Thousands of sea snakes live on the underwater flanks of this mountain. There are two different species of venomous snakes here. They are the banded sea snake and the olive-headed sea snake. Both are highly venomous species. They can reach three feet in length and move through the water like a fish. The only difference is that they have to surface to breathe every so often. The good thing is that they are not very aggressive. Divers specifically come to this remote volcano to dive with hundreds of some of the most dangerous snakes in the world, and none of them get hurt. Think of it like diving with dolphins only much scarier. Giant Volcano Sponge There is an animal that can live for 10,000 years and even 15,000 years in some conditions. Glass sponges are the longest living animals on Earth. They are also among the oldest animals in existence. There are at least a few species of glass sponges living in every ocean on Earth, and they have been around for almost 635 million years. After thousands of years of evolutionary history, it's safe to say that these glass sponges have found a pretty comfortable place for themselves. But not all glass sponges can live forever. Sponges living in Antarctic waters have the longest lifespans. The ocean's cold climate slows the animals' metabolisms. They have a much lower rate of cellular decay compared to sponges that live in warmer waters. It's almost like cold water is immortal for glass sponges. The giant volcano sponge is another type of sponge that lives for up to 15,000 years. These sponges are so big you could easily curl up and sleep inside them. They can be found throughout the polar climate. They live on top of extinct underwater volcanoes in the Arctic Ocean. Almost all of these giant volcano sponges continue to live their impressive lives, which began long before human civilization. Volcano Shark Scientists on a National Geographic expedition coined the phrase Sharkano in 2015 when they found sharks living inside one of the most active volcanoes in the world. These sharks were discovered in an active underwater volcano. It was such a dangerous place that scientists had to return years later with better equipment and underwater robots to understand what the sharks were doing. Ocean engineer Brennan Phillips dropped a bait-laden camera directly into the beating heart of the volcano. The camera descended 154 feet into the volcano's crater. This allowed scientists to observe the surprising number of sharks circling inside the volcano. And sharks weren't the only creatures there. They also observed gelatinous zooplankton species and larger fish like bluefin trevally and snapper. There were even scalloped hammerhead sharks swimming in this strange volcanic environment. This volcano, called Kavachi, has been erupting constantly since at least 1939. The lava flowing out of this volcano regularly creates new islands. The volcano's summit is about 65 feet below the ocean surface and keeps the surrounding ocean water warm. Actually, the water surrounding the volcano is scorching hot and acidic. It's also filled with dangerous volcanic particles. Such an environment is naturally harmful to fish, but sharks still seem to have managed to survive in this inhospitable environment. Apparently, there's a small group of animals that have become accustomed to the harsh realities of volcano life. And now scientists are trying to figure out what makes living in the mouth of a still active volcano so appealing. Volcano Snail The scaly-foot snail is a volcanic gastropod and one of the toughest snails ever to evolve. Found in volcanic terrains in the Indian Ocean, this snail species has developed an impressive iron shell that protects it from dangers. Sometimes called the sea pangolin, volcano snails live in the deepest and hottest known underwater volcano vents. They survive, and more than survive, thrive in a place that would boil most animals alive. 
Clad in their shells of pure iron sulfide, not even the extreme heat of volcanic vents can bother these snails. Scientists hadn't imagined that they would find a living creature living in the hydrothermal vents in the Indian Ocean until they discovered the volcano snail in 2001. The snail was first found at the Kai Rai hydrothermal vent field, and then again at the solitaire vent field. At the time, scientists suspected it was a strange one-off discovery. But once the snails were found in more than one location, their existence as a species was confirmed. We know that the volcano snail lives 1.5 miles below the surface, where temperatures can reach 750 degrees Fahrenheit. But one of the most interesting things about the volcano snail is how it forms its shell. It pulls iron sulfide from its surroundings and then incorporates it into a natural suit of armor. This armor perfectly protects its soft insides while also preventing outside bacteria from getting in, thus protecting it from diseases. Pretty advanced for a snail, right? Altiplano Flamingo High above the Bolivian Andes, there are flocks of flamingos that live in the extremely salty waters of volcanic pools. Volcano flamingos are tucked away between a pair of volcanic peaks. They live in a lake of intensely red water located in a 16,000 foot mountain pass. The red water protects the flamingos, who are very well adapted to it, from potential predators. Besides, there aren't many predators in the harsh landscape of the Altiplano in South America anyway. The flamingo colonies were discovered in the late 1950s when explorers found the volcano-ringed Laguna Colorada Lake. The explorers were shocked to see three different species of volcano flamingos living in the Crimson Lake. These species were the Chilean, Andean, and James flamingos. In the 1960s, researchers realized that this red lake was created by hot geysers coming from deep within the earth. Ancient people who lived in the region believed that the red color of the lake came from the blood of the gods. Spread across a massive 15,000 acres, the lake is only three feet deep. Actually, the water's deep red color, which attracts flamingos, comes from algae and minerals. The lake is fed by an endless supply of bubbling water that comes from the volcanic source deep beneath the plateau. Volcano Mouse Scientists recently confirmed that a species of mice that live on volcanoes have earned the title of the world's highest dwelling mammal. These tiny mice were discovered living at the summit of Lulayaco, which is over 20,000 feet above sea level. Lulayaco is a massive volcano that sits on the border of both Argentina and Chile. It's such a harsh place that you wouldn't expect anything to live in it. The air at the very top of the volcano is dry and cold. The summit also lacks the necessary oxygen that most animals need. Yet in 2020, scientists came across a species of mice living inside the volcano. Never before had a mammal species been found living in such a bizarre location. Jay Storrs of the University of Nebraska emphasized how inhospitable the surrounding conditions were for these mice to live in. There is very little vegetation around, it doesn't rain, and temperatures can drop to minus 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Even though it seems like it would be agonizing to live there, the volcano mice seem content. After all, they live on top of the highest active volcano on Earth. Apparently, the mice can find enough food and they don't suffer from altitude sickness. They also seem to have gained immunity against any diseases that might threaten them. Scientists now want to study these mysterious mice to see if they can help other creatures adapt to such extreme environments. And they believe that the mystery behind the biology of these mice could lead to medical miracles. Bucktooth Dragonfish An Australian expedition team was surveying the ocean floor for lobster larvae when they came across four ancient volcanoes. Inside these prehistoric chimneys of the world, they found a species of fish that was a little bigger than a person's fingertip and incredibly creepy looking. This bucktooth dragonfish, which looks even creepier up close, was actually extremely small. Completely black, the tiny dragonfish species had translucent teeth and no scales. They had made a habitat for themselves among the extinct volcanoes at the bottom of the ocean. Biologist Chris Kennelly says that these bucktooths are a member of the genus Astronesthes, and there are about nine other different species living in the region. However, 
There are 287 species in the dragonfish family worldwide. This small black fish, though creepy and strange looking, isn't actually that rare. The only reason they aren't seen by humans often is that they live in the deep ocean. They hide in the darkest and deepest parts of the oceans. Also, most fishermen don't cast their nets into the mouths of volcanoes. Lava Lizard There are seven different species of lava lizards in the Galapagos Islands. These lizards are among the most abundant reptiles in the Galapagos Islands, and they look like miniature iguanas. They can be found in large groups basking in the sun on the lava rocks they are named after. Some are green, some are black, and many of these lizards are adorned with gold stripes and yellow spots. These strange little lizards take their territories very seriously. Male lava lizards often try to intimidate potential rivals by doing push-ups to appear bigger and stronger. This usually scares off other males, but it doesn't always work. Sometimes it turns into a push-up contest between two male lava lizards who each feel they are stronger than their opponent. If the contest doesn't work, the lizards predictably start slapping each other with their tails or biting their rivals until one of them finally gives up the territory. Lava lizards have specifically evolved to rule this remote volcanic environment. Like many other animals in the Galapagos, they are currently facing extinction, but they are not extinct yet. They can still be seen lounging beside groups of marine iguanas on the hardened lava of the islands while basking in the sun together. Volcano Rabbit As it is known, there are a bunch of volcanoes near the busy streets of Mexico City, and four of them can be reached in as little as 45 minutes. These volcanoes are home to volcano rabbits, small mammals with extraordinary habitats. Volcano rabbits are the second smallest rabbits in the world, and they live on the slopes of four volcanoes in central Mexico. According to National Geographic, volcano rabbits are currently endangered, and there are fewer than 7,000 still alive in the wild today. Volcano rabbits only reach a weight of one pound when fully grown. They have short ears and sparse fur. These tiny animals are typically brown or black and have evolved to camouflage against the volcanic soil over the years. They spend most of their time doing normal rabbit activities like breeding in the warm seasons. They come out to forage in the mornings and at dusk, but spend most of their time hiding in underground burrows. They live in small tunnels inside the volcanoes to hide from predators like weasels and hawks.